Ever since I started to paint with rock pigments, my oldest son, who is six years old now, often comes home with his pockets full of stones that he collected for me. One of those stones has been turned into this gorgeous delicate flower necklace by the talented goldsmith Anna Wonders. And that is honestly one of the most special pieces of jewelry for me. A precious memory of spending time with my son in nature when he was little and hopefully planting a seed in his heart for him to cherish nature as much as I do, hopefully long into his adulthood. Anna and I started talking to each other on Instagram and there we discovered that we are completely in love with each other's work. So we decided to create custom artworks for each other and exchange them. I already received this special necklace from Anna and today is the day that I will bring the painting I created for her to her and I will see her for the first time in real life and I can't wait to meet her so let's go! Super excited and happy that we can finally meet. Yes. After yes. talking so much uh, mm -hmm. via Instagram with yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. It's so uh, unreal and also at the same time... It feels very natural. And, and <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, yeah. Weird, it's like, a weird thing because, yeah, you know each, you kind of know each other already digitally yes. and then you meet and it... As I said to you, it doesn't even feel like I'm meeting you for, for the, the first, first time. time. No, <laughs> yeah. I, no, I feel the same. Well, so we we actually have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's uh, our love for nature, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nature is definitely a big part for both of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's engraved in our skins. Yes, that sounds scary. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, yeah, true. Humans are also a part of nature, but yeah, in somehow we are, but we are not really good with nature. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I agree. There's the part of us that's desperately trying to save it. Yes, yes. <laughs> trying to make other people conscious about the beauty of it. Mm -hmm and the value of it and um and we are doing that also in our work i think so yeah yeah we do and then there's the <laughs> destruction part <of> <laughs> yes, yes. So when we were talking about um, what's important to you and what I could possibly incorporate in the painting, you talked about the, actually, it's the logo of your business. 
which is a diamond shape with a circular form around it. Yes. The shape is right here. Oh, wow, yes. With that circular movement. Around it? Around wow. It. Yes. So tell me, tell me again, what does that mean to you, that diamond shape with a circle around it? And it's called Ingus, so Inguas. Yeah, it means a lot of things, but for me, it was a rune, a symbol for uh, uh, creativity and for uh, fertility. And um, if you want something, you really have to go for it. You really have to believe in it. Yes, this little symbol, I, um, I put it in my logo and it, it's still with me. And the movement around it, you can, yeah, you can see it back in my logo. So, yeah, very beautiful. Making my designs, nature is always a part of it. Mm -hmm. It's my biggest inspiration and, and yeah, it never changes. And in a way it always changes. So your creativity or nature? No, the inspiration of nature. So it's not like that I'm scared. Uh, that someday I don't know what to make because I already used everything from nature. Mm -hmm. But nature is changing and I'm changing as well. And I'm, I'm not scared that, that they will come. So that's a good thing, I guess. Yeah, that is. That so, is um, you said that very lovely. Your work is actually like a love letter from you to nature. Yes. And, and let others experience it as well. Exactly. And show them what I love uh, about nature and the roughness and the structures and the um, textures. Textures, all textures. Oh, textures. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and show people how important it is that, that you um, connect to it connect with nature but you don't lose the connection no because then you lose much more yeah i i really believe that we are supposed to um, be in close connection to nature in order to be healthy yes mm -hmm. i think um a lot of us are losing the connection. losing the connection to yes. nature which yes. which causes a lot of diseases yes. and mental diseases mm -hmm. and unhappiness and I'm, I'm I'm super I'm super excited and glad that I that I found the way how to um yeah step back from acrylics and um get back to the back to the basics how painting was before and how to yeah, actually paint with natural pigments yes. and yes i loved it yes <laughs> I, I, I directly fell in love with how you uh, yeah, how you make your own paint and the materials and like you take us or me or the person that is following you really um with you in the story of making the art it also really helps me to connect deeper to nature. Yes, I now I go imagine. out into nature yes. and I look for the, the pigments, the stones, and I collect them and I process them at home, which is a very meditative, meditative yes, thing I to do. Yes, I can imagine. Yes. Uh, and then after all these steps, it will finally end up on the canvas surface as, as, as color and as texture as well. That you yeah. can really see the, the little, all these little tiny, tiny stones. Yes. Um, and it, yeah, it's, 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 it's a world of a difference. Really. I think it's so beautiful the the fact that I can actually translate the true colors of a place yeah. on earth into a painting, a painting that you can 
yeah take home yeah i think it's it's very special and um, you can almost or you almost want to touch it and you should you should i want i really want that yes the people that yeah, you own a painting of mine i really hope that they, they touch, will touch it. it they should yeah but to make i love touching I, I just i'm, I'm kind of addicted to <laughs> touching all yeah. kinds of natural textures it's just i i, I really like the feel of it and that's yeah. why i also want to make paintings that you can feel and touch yeah it's about the the reconnecting people to nature again yes i think that's what we're both trying to do yes it's like like you told uh, how uh, how your process is you're, you're you're going into nature and you collect stones and materials and you're making your own things for me sometimes that part of the process means more than actually have a, a finished product absolutely so yeah. telling that story mm -hmm. is far more important of course the final piece is very very beautiful most of the time <laughs> but uh, the process of making it that yeah that's very special for me and, um, it's nice to have this moment and, and to talk about it i'm grateful for that me too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so.